You just never know who's going to be here. If they're going to protect Berry Hill, they got to get in their breakfast, if you know what I mean. Oh! Rise and shine! Ugh. Today is going to be a good day. Oh! I don't know what's going to happen today, but none of us do. Technically, we don't know what's going to happen in the next five minutes. Here we are today. We're in Berry Hill. Let me show you guys this real quick. Whoever painted this, I don't know who did it, but it's all the stars. Literally every one of them. Old Johnny Cash. For those of you who do not know the person that I've been working with, Manuel Cuevas. He's the one who got Johnny Cash in all black. And many other people. You just never know who's going to be here. If they're going to protect Berry Hill, they got to get in their breakfast, if you know what I mean. Whoa! It's been a super day today. So much has happened. I haven't had my GoPro on me. Been meeting all sorts of types of people, which you'll have to just stay tuned to see who it is. But this hat right here that I'm working on, hmm, this hand hand stitching right here is, uh, it's difficult. And uh, my buddy Scott, my new good friend, Mr. Scott Ashton, Man, we just got back from California and he's already ordered another hat. That's the only reason we went went out to California a couple episodes ago for Mr. Scott and his birthday. And uh, he called me and was just like, Logan, man, I need, a, I need a hat, another hat, a hat that you've never done before, a, a different style, something new that the world's never seen. So I couldn't be more happy right now to be creating this for one of my really new good friends. And uh, we'll give you a sneak peek real quick. But it says, the humble lion will roar. And he's the truth of the city. And this is volcanic rock. He got the smiley face with the peace sign. I think he's just all about love. He's all about peace. One thing that I'm just super thankful about Scott is that he's so selfless. Uh, he doesn't know that I'm doing this. He might not even see this because he doesn't have any social media. But he's one of the most selfless people I've ever met. Um, he invited my brother and I out to his birthday and one thing that will stick with me forever forever Is how grateful and how generous he is to his friends on the night of his birthday You know normally the fun thing is is to blow your candles out and Scott actually took all of his candles And he put them in everybody's cake everybody's slice of cake Scott instead of being selfish and wanting to make himself a wish he wanted every single person that was involved in his life, every one of his friends, his family members, myself, my twin brother, he wanted us to be a part of his dream and a part of his wish. And uh, I I'll never forget it. And so right now when I'm creating this hat, I, I couldn't be more happy to be able to create the first hat like this ever created. Scott, I just want to say thank you so much for including myself and including my twin brother into your birthday and into your life and allowing us to be a part of your birthday wish. And, um, you know, I know the Lord is going to use you in just the greatest ways. Somebody last night called me and I, uh, I just realized how, how special these make others feel and not just myself it gives people an identity because they can go out and talk about who they really are without being scared it's like almost a little pick-me-up jump start so they can share their testimony so my craft is completely changed from just being a milliner and a hatter to a complete artist there's nobody like me that ever was ever will be so anybody watching this, just, you're good enough. And the Lord wants to use you and your gift and your path and your thoughts and your gut feelings for something that's so great. But we have to be 
who God has created us to be and nothing else. And it's really hard to do something that nobody's ever done. But nobody's ever been you. No one. We have finally cleaned up these hats. Oh, big smoke. Reshaped them. <sighs> Only the classiest. Mr. Raj, Big Raj. Praise to the Most High. Mr. Roger Saffold is one of my greatest clients because he is respectful. He's honest, he's true. He's a good friend. Rise Nation. He's honest with what he can and can't do. He's a family man. He's a lover of the Lord. And he's disciplined with everything that he does. That's why he is where he is. Because the Lord has had favor for him. Because of his work ethic. Because of the way he lets the Lord use him. So... I am just so, so, so pumped to be able to deliver this hat. Gotta get that last little dust off. Black hats collect every dust. It doesn't matter if you don't touch them for two seconds. These hats got majorly messed up in the move, but now they're fixed and ready to wear. So he has one of the coolest collections that I've made, and I'm super pumped. It's the start of the season. And uh, for Roger to trust me and Allow me to create some work of art is pretty cool to me. So, Big Raj, here you go, brother. <laughs>